My name is Kurosawa Suzumi. I'm 28 years old. I work at a company called Rokotora Construction, and it's absolutely horrendous. Ugh, I want to hurry home and sleep already. But before I do that, I need to eat something. I guess some tea and a pre-made meal is good enough. I don't have time to make food as there's too much overtime. I also don't have the energy to eat out. So I just buy pre-made food at the convenience store. The total is $8. I'll pay with the Nanakuma card. Okay. Touch here then. Also, could I get a receipt for this too? You're gonna have to pay by cash then. Okay. Wait, what? My wallet is gone! Could you hold on a moment? I checked all my pockets and took everything out of my bag, but I couldn't find my wallet anywhere. Where did I drop it? Hurry up, won't ya? I'm sorry. I'll just pay with the Nanakuma card then. No way. Where did I drop my wallet? Even though I have my phone, I still had over $200 in my wallet. My credit cards and my license were all inside my wallet too. Damn it! Do I have to reapply for all the credit cards and my license? I don't have the time to be doing any of this. <sighs> I guess I'll go back the way I came and look for it. Even if someone did pick it up, I'm sure they've taken the cash. My credit card might be getting used too. Worst case scenario, my licenses are going to be sold to some foreign scammers. My identity is going to be used for crimes. I was thinking about all this and walking down the street when... I noticed a stranger staring at my face. Huh? What's she doing? As I looked up, I saw a homeless person in completely rugged clothes in front of me. Is she going to ask me for money? Unfortunately, I don't have the time or energy to be kind to anyone. Um, excuse me. What should I do? Are you Kurosawa Susuzumu? What? Uh, yeah, I am. Here, you drop this. This is my wallet! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, you really saved me! I was thinking really rude thoughts about the person that I picked up my wallet. I feel so bad. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Wait, please, hold on! What? Let me repay you for this in some way. It's okay, don't worry. She appears to be in a rough spot, but... She decided to return my wallet without even asking for anything in return. I'd feel so bad if you don't let me repay you somehow. Is there anything, uh... Oh, are you hungry at all? Um... Steak? Pizza? A burger? Italian food? Uh... You must be hungry then. Well, you just made me think about all those delicious foods that you just mentioned. I couldn't resist. Huh, this woman is kind of cute. Okay, let's go eat something then. I'll pay for anything you want to eat. Um, then maybe this burger place. Huh? Are you sure you want to eat somewhere so cheap? I walked past this place earlier and the food smelled really good. Although, you really don't have to do this for me. Let's go in and eat then. I was really tired and had no intention of eating out, but I suddenly have lots of energy. There you are, two portions of the special Nanakuma burger. Whoa. I didn't think that she'd become this happy. It's just a burger. She must have really been hungry. You're drooling? No way. I'm lying. <laughs> uh, I panicked for a moment. <laughs> My bad. I'm having so much fun. I wonder why. All right, let's eat that. Yeah. It felt so good. I'm glad you like it. Even I'm becoming so happy just watching her. What is that? Here, it's a homeless person. I've lost my appetite. What is wrong with those people? We didn't do anything to harm them. As I looked around, people were staring at us like we were being a huge nuisance. Some people seem to be having fun making fun of us. I'm really sorry. It's me. 
don't apologize for this. I'm sorry. Can we get these put in a takeout box? Um, thanks for the food. I was really grateful that you treated a person like me so nicely. I should be the one thanking you. I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. It's not your fault at all. It's because I'm dirty and smell bad. I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. You didn't cause me any trouble at all. If you'd like, you can use the shower at my place. No, it's okay. I really want you to come. I hope I'm not being a nuisance to you. You're not being a nuisance to me at all. Okay, then it's decided. I'd never try to invite a woman over to my place so desperately. However, I was really annoyed by all the things the other customers were saying about her. I felt like I wanted to save her. The bath is ready, so go ahead. I'm sorry I can only give you my t-shirt and shorts has changed. Let's go buy some clothes for you tomorrow. No, this is enough. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go take a bath then. What am I doing? I was surprised by what I was doing, but there was also a side of me that was a little excited. I've never invited a girl over to my place. Wait, what am I thinking? I'm helping her out. Um, thank you for letting me borrow your bath. Whoa, she's so cute. It's uh, completely fine. Was the temperature okay? Yeah, it was perfect. It felt so good. Where do you live right now? My house right now is a cardboard box at the park. It's dangerous for a young woman like you to be at a place like that. But... I have nowhere else I can go. Well, then you can live in my house then. Wait, what? It's not very spacious, but I'm sure it's going to be more comfortable than a cardboard box. No way. I can't be this much of a nuisance to you. I wouldn't offer you this if I thought you'd be a nuisance. Um, you might think I'm creepy if I tell you this, but, uh, I haven't laughed and had this much fun in such a long time. What? I'm currently working for a very evil company, so I barely have any free time at all. I don't have anything to look forward to in life. I sometimes question what the point of living even is. However, when I'm with you, my emotions warmed up and I was able to laugh. Uh, I'm so grateful to be told something like that. I'm so happy. What? She's crying? I lived together with my mom, but my mom passed away, and I was too shocked to go to work. I was fired immediately. I couldn't pay rent, and I was kicked out of my apartment, too. Oh, so that's what happened. I think that your mom in heaven would be worried about you. Yeah, I think so, too. However, I can't be depending on you like this. So I'm going to do my best to find a job and a place to live. Well, you're going to need a home address to find a job, right? Well, I guess so. Even if you find a place to live, moving in is going to be pretty costly. You can live here until you save up enough money. Are you really sure about this? Of course. Thank you so much. My full name is Hango Misaki. I'm so grateful for this. I hope that we can get along well. This is how me and Misaki started living together. I'm sorry, but I haven't been able to do the housework at all because my job is too busy. I'll be grateful if you could help me out until you find a job. Of course I'll help. I'll do my best so that I can support you, Mr. Kurosaki. You can just call me Susumu, by the way. I'll call you Misaki, too. Uh, okay, then. Susumu? Oh, so good. It feels like we're newlyweds. Just because I started living with Misaki, my work life with endless overtime didn't change at all. I'm home. Welcome back home, Susumu. Dinner is ready. I'm starving, thanks. With Misaki being around, my dull and boring life had suddenly become so bright. Ugh, everything tastes so good. The room is clean, all my clothes have been washed and ironed. Everything feels so great. My life has become so much better thanks to you. 
It makes me really happy to hear that. However, I feel really bad that you've been buying me clothes and all this food. I don't worry about it at all. You're definitely doing way more for me. I want to take an entrance exam for a job today. Oh, nice. Where at? At Nanakuma Inc. What? Nanakuma Incorporated? Nanakuma Incorporated was a very prestigious company. And it was difficult for even graduates from high-ranked universities to get into. Getting accepted mid-career must be basically impossible. I hope that you get the job. Hmm, how should I cheer her up when she gets rejected? Apparently, there was no need for me to worry about this at all. Suzumu! I just got told that I'm hired! Wait, really? Whoa! I asked her about her background, and I found out that Masaki had graduated from a prestigious university, and she had a great resume. If her mom hadn't have passed away, she would have still been working at a very high-end company. Nanakuma Incorporated was not going to miss out on a talent like her. No one would imagine that a person like her would become homeless. A year had passed since I met her. I was still a slave to my evil company. I'm so exhausted as always. I'm home. Oh. oh. Welcome home, Susumu. Susumu? Huh? A white roof. Where is this? Susumu. I'm so glad. Masaki. You collapsed because of exhaustion. Oh, I thought that this would happen one day. I'm begging you. Please, stop pushing yourself so hard. After getting out of hospital, I told my company that I was quitting. However, the company told me that they were lacking staff and that they'd sue me if I quit. They even threatened disciplinary dismissal if I was to leave. Just what I expected from an evil company like them. I'm home! Huh? Is Misaki not home? Oh, she's just taking a shower. Even if I were to quit, I probably won't be able to find a new job anyway. I'm different to Masaki. I graduated from a regular college and I have nothing impressive on my resume. I can already see myself struggling to find a new job. If that's the case, I think I should just man up and keep working. Huh? Masaki? I'm getting changed right now. Wait, what? While I was getting changed, she barged into my room without even knocking. The bigger problem was that she was only wearing a towel. What's the matter? Please become mine. What? I was taken by surprise and fell over. She ended up on top of me. What do you mean? Please become mine. Please listen to what I say. I don't want you working at your company anymore. I've wanted to quit for a while, too. Please, quit your company and come work with me. Wait, to Nanakuma Incorporated? There's no way I can get hired by such a prestigious company. I ended up starting my own company. Wait, what? You started up your own company? I wanted you to quit your company. I wanted to make a place where you could get accepted. You did it for my sake? I only started the company recently, so I don't know if I can pay you that much. Please, become mine. I want you so badly. She thought of me this much. I'll give up then. Also, could you employ me then? I might not be as capable as you, though. Suzumu, I know that you're a very capable person. A person that was able to continue working at such an evil company for seven years has to be capable. Also, Masaki, you should be careful with how you phrase things. I might misunderstand you. My heart was beating so fast. What? When you asked to become yours, you meant that you wanted me to come work for you, right? You're also telling me in this position, too. <laughs> oh! I forgot that I was only wearing a towel. I wanted to talk to you about this as soon as possible. That's why I came rushing out of the shower like this. You're gonna catch a cold. 
Why don't you go take a shower again? If she had kept pinning me down like that, I would have lost control of myself. Um, you didn't misunderstand anything. What do you mean? The reason why I wanted you to come work for me is because I don't want you to keep overworking yourself, but it's also because I want to spend more time by your side. So, in other words, I like you. What? So, when I asked you to become mine, I meant it in that way, too. Uh, I see. I'm really sorry. An ex-homeless person like me shouldn't be saying stuff like this. I'll get out of here right now. I'm so happy to hear that. Suzumu? I've loved you for the longest time. You supported me no matter how tough work was. Your smile was the reason why I was able to keep on going. You make me happy. You make me happy too. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Excuse me. I'm here to talk about Kurosawa Susumu's resignation. Who the hell are you? I'm the representative of the new company that he's going to be working at. He had already filled out all the necessary documents. And he had handed in his resignation notice over three months ago. You guys not accepting his resignation is going against the law. Damn it! I was able to receive a severance check from Rokotora Constructions. I also managed to receive pay for all the unpaid overtime. And I received the paid holidays I was meant to receive by law. I quit the company very happy. Masaki! I was able to get a new contract for the company! Great job, Suzumu. This is great! I don't have a quota to meet, so... I can talk with potential business partners with so much confidence. I had no idea working could be so much fun. That's because you're very skilled and talented. Ever since I started working for your company, my life has gotten so much better. Is that the only reason? Of course not. The biggest reason for my happiness is because I'm able to spend lots of time with my beautiful fiancé. <laughs> I'm happy too. I only meant to help out the homeless person and return my wallet to me. However, I was one that ended up being saved. I'm going to make sure to take care of Masaki, as she allowed me to smile and become happy again. <laughs>